All right, you guys, so today I received the elbow macaroni from Low Carb Bread Company. So we're going to um, just do a review on it, see if we like it or not, if it's a pass or fail, because, you know, that's that's what I'm doing now. So we're going to see if it's a pass or fail. But you guys, let's get started. All right, you guys, so we're going to start with the elbow macaroni. This is from the Great Low Carb Bread Company. Uh, this is the elbows one. Let me see here. So yeah, we're going to start off by cooking this. We're going to put this in the water. Now it says 8 to 10 minutes, but I have seen where I guess it's supposed to be double the time on the package. So we're just going to follow that here. Just keep my eye out on it. So my water has came to a boil. Now I'm going to put a cup in. This is a cup measure from Walmart. And you know me. I, I just grabbed it and it was two dollars and I think like 35 cents and when you wash it like the what is it called the little measurement uh things come off so now I, I'm playing guess on which measurement it is so anyway we're going to just put this in here put that in there now it says eight to ten minutes I'm going to let that boil for about five minutes and then I'm going to um stir it and then let me see it might drain some of the water and then put more water in and let it boil and see how that works all right you guys so i did let it boil for about 20 minutes and then i put a little bit of pink himalayan salt in it now right here i'm just putting in two cups of heavy whipping cream Probably don't even need that, but that's that's fine. And then I just have this little cube of uh, Monterey Jack cheese left over, so I'm just gonna throw that whole thing in there. Okay, you guys. So right now I'm just turning this Monterey Jack cheese. It just seems like it was not melting. So I'm just sitting here stirring it and stirring it. So turn it down the heat a little bit. And then let's see what happens next. Now, why would this pot flow over like this? Like, it's so disrespectful. Look at this. It's coming. I'm like, no, let me turn it up. Then, then it just spills. We gonna edit that out all right so letting this simmer here turn this down i turn it down melt this monterey monterey jack cheese why do this want to keep on like trying to blow up on me i don't get it all right so let this cheese melt I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna let this simmer just a little bit more, and I'll be back to put in the other ingredient. Okay. So while this Mari jug is taking a slow molasses time, I am going to put in the other cheese. So this is the mozzarella. It's a mozzarella shredded low moisture part skin mozzarella cheese. So I'm gonna put it with a handful of this because this is almost done. So this might just work out. You just have to. I was supposed to go to the grocery store um, yesterday, but it's perfectly fine. So I'll just uh, take you guys with me tomorrow when I plan on going. So actually, what I'm gonna do is just put the rest of that in here. I'm gonna just put the rest of it in there. Okay, it's going to anyway. I'm not about to. Say, I'm not about to say that. Really All right. So put that cheese in here. So we have our heavy cream. We have um, our Monterey Jack. 
We have our mozzarella. Now I'm gonna put in my Parmesan. Uh, normally I would have my um, regular. My regular shredded. Uh, Normally, I would just have this one, but you see, that's almost gone. So, I'm going to just use this Parmesan grated cheese for today and see how this tastes. I'm sure it's not a big difference. I don't know. Because I don't pay attention to cheeses like that. I don't know who does. But, I guess this is more of a dry powder, you can say. So you see how creamy that's starting to get? I can deal with that. I can deal with that. So that's still on low. Add a little overflow as you can see is what the pot looks like that. But let me clean that up. Alright, so I think I'm gonna put a little bit more of this in here. You know what? I might just put the rag the rest of this one in here too. I'm not about to keep, no. Well, that looks like the same texture to me. I think, I don't know. Right, so. Okay, I can deal with this. I can deal with this texture. All right, so for some reason, I had my garlic powder the other day, but I cannot find it. I have no clue. I don't know what I did with it, that's weird. I thought it was in my spice cabinet, but it's not. So. So then I'm going to go in with some garlic pepper. It's a little bit of that in there. Sure, it ain't hurt Because I, like I like a garlic taste. So this garlic pepper is kind of strong. So I can, I can deal with that. Ooh, look at that. If you got something to say, just put it in the comments. Because listen. I'm trying. Alright. So, let's see here. Alright, so I'm going to put a little bit of oregano in here. Because I'm trying to be fancy. I need to get my other little spice first. Alright, so I think that's good enough. So now, I'm going to just put my... Oh, no. All right, so what I'm going to do is start putting the pasta in here. What is splashing? Oh, my. Oh, my. I'm gonna, at this point, I don't even care, honestly. All right. You guys, it doesn't look so bad. I'm surprised. Ooh, okay, okay, let me see. And you can season it however you want to. I just did these uh, three white cheeses. I don't know what it is with me and like macaroni and cheese. I, for some reason, like I choose like white sauce over... Uh, what is it orange or red whatever color you want to call it but um yeah i don't know i like the white even like pizza what is it it's like it's white pizza but yeah like i like white pizza i ain't even want it's not but yeah look at this this does not look bad all right so i'm gonna just let this sit for a little bit and then I'm about to put my broccoli on so I can start making that. All right, so I just put a little spoonful of butter in here. Let that melt down. And this is a, just a broccoli that I have I'm putting here. So this melt down here. All right, so I threw the broccoli in there. Um, just added a little bit of water. Cause I'm just gonna let it steam, honestly, and then um, just have butter, garlic, broccoli. I guess that's what I'm gonna say. So I'm just.
just let this heat up a little bit. And I'm going to cover it. Normally, I just cover um, my food, my, uh, food when I'm cooking it like this, especially broccoli, just to get it soft. So, add some salt. <sighs> add some, a little bit of pepper. And we're going to add a little bit of garlic pepper. And I'm just going to cover it and let it steam through. All right, so this is how I like it. So you see how steamed it is? It definitely feels um, tender to touch, so that's how I like my broccoli. So I just covered it with other pan and just let it simmer. All right, so now I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to um, melt some butter, put it in there, put a little bit more garlic, pepper, and um, start my plate. All right, so this is what it looks like done, you guys. Um, so now I'm about to taste it. So let's see how this tastes. Honestly, I don't know if the salt helped or not. I don't know. But it's good though. It's good. It's not bad. Like, I can deal with this. So this was the elbow one that I used. But it's cool. It's not bad. But yeah. I need to get myself pampered because I'm looking... Um. We ain't even going to talk about it. We're going to let it go. But, yeah, this is good, you guys. So, definitely, you know, try it. Um, I did it for 25 minutes. I definitely put the salt in it. So, again, I don't know if the salt helped or not. But I haven't. I didn't see anybody put salt in there. But I don't I don't know if it helped. But it's definitely good. It doesn't have, like, the gritty taste. Yeah. Like, see me chewing. It doesn't have a bad taste to it at all like this is good all right you guys i am out if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that bell button to get notifications when i post and again i think this may be a pass so i didn't fail with this one so next time i see you guys love you guys bye